beautiful people. Chef Mashan is here, the self-proclaimed smoothie queen. Today I'm gonna to show y'all how I peel and freeze my bananas. This is something that to me is essential to me having delicious healthy smoothies all of the time. You can buy bananas in bulk a large quantity at a time. Bananas are easily one of the cheapest fruits in the world that you can buy anywhere, any time of year. You can buy bananas at the gas station, the grocery store. You can get bananas any and everywhere. So bananas are something that's very accessible to a lot of people. They give you calories, nutrition, they're delicious, they're sweet. So I keep them on hand at all times and I love to add them in my smoothies, my nice cream smoothie bowls, all of that. And I like to freeze them because when they're frozen, they're really thick and they give things an ice cream texture. And I just love that. So it's very, very, very simple, but people ask me all of the time, how do I do my bananas? So I'm gonna show you. As you can see, I have my ripe bananas here. Now, this is bruising. Don't pay attention to this. This is what you want. The speckles, the brown spots. This is showing that the starches have fully converted over to sugars and they're easier to digest, sweet. This is why people take bananas that look like this and make banana bread with them. So yeah, this is what you want your bananas to look like. Not like this, all beat up from being in my bag when I'm, yeah, so that's why they're beat up like that, but you want the speckles, the brown spots. This isn't ripeness, this is bruising. So this is a really good example of what your banana should look like to peel and freeze. Easier to digest, sweeter, all of that good stuff. Now how I peel them for my smoothies, my nice cream, smoothie bowls, everything is just so simple. See? See, this is what they typically look like with just the brown spots and the speckles. This is bruising, and that's why this is all gross. So this is a really good example. When they're an average size banana like this, average to large, I break them up into either six or eighths, just to make sure that I'm easy on my blender, as easy as possible. You can cut them, use a knife. See, now this one is a really good example. This one's kind of big. I'll break this one in the eighths. Make sure you compost those banana peels if you can. See, this is from the bruising. This is what it just looks like with all the brown spots and no bruising. But these got beat up from being in my bag, so. Yeah, and it's really that simple. Put them in a container, a bag, whatever you please, and freeze them for smoothies, nice cream smoothie bowls. Here are my bananas that I will keep in the freezer. Sometimes when I do this, I only have a few bananas at a time. Sometimes when I do it, I have a case of bananas that I'm peeling and freezing all at once. It really just depends on what I have at the time, however many bananas. But once they get ripe, I peel them, I freeze them, and I don't have to worry about them going bad. They're always there when I need them. So yes, frozen bananas is an essential. Thank you. And stay tuned for more content. Always gonna have more content coming. And make sure you follow my YouTube, both of my Instagram accounts, all of my other social media, because I post on there all the time, especially follow my food account on Instagram. 